So I'm gonna do my top five athletic performance tips for flexibility. Obviously, she's not gonna help, so we're gonna have to do this on the, you wanna say hey to the audience? Exactly. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. My top five athletic performance tips for flexibility. This is something that I believe personally that goes along with nutrition that took my career for American football, it took it off. And, um, you know, I was at this age around 28, 29 years old. I was kind of thick. Normally I, my playing weight was around 207 and I ended up at 230. And even though I felt big and I felt strong, like I just couldn't move. I wasn't be able to bend something that I always worked on, was trying to be able to, you know, have that flexibility. And um, as I worked on it, like I noticed, like when I thought my career was going down, it actually shot my career back up. And that's when I started hitting the peaks of my career. Number one is a consistent stretch routine. Let go of the resistance you just felt and realize if you want a longer, more explosive career, you're going to have to stretch more than you used to. It's what's gonna keep you younger, longer. So with that said, incorporate regular stretching sessions into your training routine. Dynamic stretches before your training helps warm up muscles and improve range of motion while static stretches after exercise and training is gonna promote more flexibility by holding gentle stretches for longer durations. It's an extra two to five minutes in your lifestyle that'll help take your speed, your strength to another level. Trust me, when I thought my career was at this end, I created a stretch routine that released my tight back and just gave me an extra burst that I was actually shocked about. And of course, this is something you have to build on. I would even go to say on the days that you don't train, stretching is probably gonna be your best bet in keeping your muscles in top form as you take time off from strength and speed training. Just as with your strength training, gradually increase the intensity and duration of your flexibility exercises. Start with stretches that are comfortable and progressively working towards deeper stretches as your flexibility improves. This is where you can mix in some mobility to start off and then more static stretches, holding longer and longer, especially around your back, shoulders and hips. That's a cheat code I just gave you. Most people don't understand that you can stretch your legs, your hips all you want, but you will not unlock your speed and your strength with a tight back. So push for deeper depths. Continue to work at it and trust the process of keeping a flow of release to keep you loose during competition. Now, for those of you that can use more movement, engage in active mobility drills that involve control movements to challenge your muscles and your joints through their full range of motion. These exercises can include leg swings, arm circles, and hip rotation, helping you enhance flexibility and functional movement. Sometimes this can be a little bit more comfortable for athletes, and even though you shouldn't knock the other types of stretching, this is a great way to get more out of your range of motion. The way to go about this is Number one, use it as a warm up to increase blood flow and body temperature. This prepares your muscles and your joints for the upcoming active mobility exercises. Number two, which is very important, is to choose relevant exercises. Select active mobility exercises that target the specific muscle groups and joints you're gonna be using during the workout or what you're gonna be doing for your sport, sport specific. Number three, perform controlled movements by starting with controlled, deliberate movements that take your joints through their full range of motion. Avoid all this jerky and rushed motions and just realize the goal is to activate the muscles and connective tissues in their controlled manner. Number four, you have to start simple. Begin with basic movements and then progress 
to more complex ones as you become just a little bit more comfortable. You can start with, like, like I said before, leg swings, arm circles, hip rotations, uh, neck tilts, um, all these things gradually adding in more exercises over time can be more effective. All right, foam rolling. I talked about this before in another video. And again, I wouldn't foam roll every day. And just be careful that you're not over rolling your muscles and your joints, which is usually what I see my old teammates spending hours doing whether they're recovering in the gym or at home, just don't overdo it, all right? Laying on the foam roller, all right, is gonna end up creating more problems. So use foam rollers and self, self myofascial release techniques to release tension in the fascia, the connective tissue surrounding the muscles. By targeting trigger points and the knots that you feel throughout your muscles, all right, you can improve overall flexibility and muscle function. This might be more necessary during, I would probably say uh, in season, off season, you can use more like tennis balls, those field hockey balls for more uh, of the myofascial release. All right, next up is incorporating more yoga and Pilates into your routine. I'm seeing more of this in college programs, but as overseas athletes and probably pro athletes, this is also a great way to unlock your muscles and tightness you never knew that was even tight. Also, it relaxes you in a way you can unlock your full potential as an athlete. All right, so yoga usually combines stretching, strength, and balance exercises to enhance flexibility and mobility. Regular practice can lead to improved body awareness, posture, and overall athletic performance. Remember, Improving flexibility is going to take time, guys, and, a, and consistent effort. Be patient with your progress and listen to your body, which is the biggest thing for athletes. Because we are so competitive, we tend to ignore just to go harder, just to compete against the next guy. Listen to your body, all right? Listen to your body and avoid overstretching or uh, you know, overstretching causing more injuries. If you're unsure where to start, consider working with a qualified trainer, someone who's tailored to some kind of flexibility program and that can, you know, be specific to your needs and your goals. So tell me down in the comments if you've tried more than three of these tips to unlock your potential and that you've worked on your flexibility. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, with these tips, stay timeless.